In a short video series, I will discuss the basic concepts relevant for understanding NetConf and how it can provide network programmability. I will show you how to build a NetConf connection to a Cisco device without any scripting. From there, we will build several Python scripts to get the working configuration from a Cisco iOS device or a Cisco Nexus device. We will also build scripts to push configuration commands to a Cisco device, such as configuring an interface to adding static routes. We will also build a more practical and recommended script where we can put the configuration that we want into a text file and to push that to a Cisco device using NetConf. For example, let's say that we want to configure a specific interface on a Cisco router, and we have a console connection to one of those routers that we'll be working with in this series. So let's see what's currently configured under the interface called Gigabit00. As you will see, nothing is configured. So let's write up what we want to configure under this interface. And that means that we first need to write up what the syntax will be in a predefined text file. And that text file is called configs.txt. So we know for Cisco IOS to configure an interface, that will be interface followed by the actual interface type like ethernet 00 that we saw before. And let's go ahead and configure an IP address, something simple to that interface with the correct subnet mask that we're using. Let's also initialize it by doing a no shutdown. And let's also put in a useful description to say that this is a WAN facing interface on this router. And let's save the changes. Next, I would run our Python script, which will look at that file and push that configuration to the router using NetConf. So let's go open up a terminal window. And then here I'll go ahead and I want to run Python 3 and specify the name of the script that will look at this file and push that configuration to that router. The script itself is completed. When we go back to our Cisco router this time, let's go ahead and view that interface now. And now we see that interface has been configured with the correct description, the IP, and it has been initialized. So you will see that the new changes were applied correctly. And in this course, I will teach you how to build all of these scripts to get the configuration like what is shown here and how the push configuration commands step-by-step step to provide a lightweight option for network programmability. In a short video series, I will show you how to enable the NX API feature and the NX API developer sandbox. From there, we will be building out three or several Python scripts, sending REST API requests to our Cisco Nexus switch in our environment. One script will be focused on running show commands, like getting a configuration from our Nexus switch that exists in our environment. And the second script will be focused on pushing configuration commands, and we'll be building a more practical script for entering the CLI commands that we want to send to a Nexus device in a more efficient way. For example, let's say that we want to configure a specific interface on a Cisco Nexus switch. Well, I would first want to write up what that configuration will be in a predefined text file that I've called configs.txt. So let's say I want to configure an interface for Ethernet 2 slash 5, and let's assign an IP address to it. Subnet mask, and let's do a no shutdown to that interface. Let's save the contents of that file. And next, I would run our Python script, which will look at that file and push that to the switch using a REST API request. So to do that, we're under the particular folder for NX API, which has all of our scripts. And script number three is our practical script that will look at this file and to push those changes. So I will go ahead and say Python, mention script number three, and then from there, let's log in and confirm the changes that were made to that switch. So we have a console access to our Nexus switch. Let's do a show run and let's go under that interface. And there you will see what we specified in that file with the IP and doing a no shutdown. And you'll see that the new changes were applied correctly. In this course, I will show you how to build these scripts to run show commands like getting the working configuration for a Nexus switch, including how to push configuration commands step by step to provide a lightweight option for network programmability. 
Okay, so to do that, let's go ahead and erase this here. That's simply an example. So we have our three dashes at the top. Next, I'm going to define a key called interfaces. Enter, do a tab. And under that, I'm going to define an interface. Under that, I'm going to go ahead and specify a list. And that list is going to define a name or a key of name. That's going to be gigabit ethernet one. And we're going to define another key called enabled, which would be true. And under that, I'll go ahead and put in another key for IPv4. And then that will, of course, have the address key. And then that will, of course, have its own list. That's going to have the IP key. And let's say the IP file will be 10101, something like that. And we'll go ahead and say, we'll say the mask, something like that would be 255.255.255.0. You can get more details on our website at routehub.net.